We've explained what market making is in the previous video, and now it's time to set up your first market making bot. We'll teach you the basics in this video, but we'll go more in depth in the next video. Let's get started. Go to your Crypto Hopper account, create a new hopper, and select Market Maker. Please remember that your market making bot will require one Hero Hopper subscription. Fill in your exchange API keys, or practice first by enabling paper trading. We'll select paper trading since it's our first time. Give your market maker a name. Before we can head on the market making dashboard, we'll have to configure which market we're exactly going to make. Go to market and price. This market offers a good spread currently. We've selected a market with one stable currency, so all profits are stored in a stable currency. As you can see, you can select different buy and sell configurations. For this example, we're only going to configure a simple strategy for a sideways market. In order sequence, you can fill in how orders are going to be placed. We want our buy and sell orders to be placed at the same time for this sideways market. Order positioning determines where your order is going to be placed in the order book. Remember, market makers want to fill their orders as quickly as possible. Let's configure to be on the top of the order book. To ensure that we make a profit when it's immediately filled, we'll have to set a minimum spread. Configure the buy amount. We're going to fill the minimum buy amount for this market. You can make multiple configurations for multiple order layers, but we'll cover that in the next video. Click Save. Let's hop to your market maker dashboard. Welcome to your market making dashboard. It might seem daunting at first, but we promise it's easier than it looks. This shows the candles of the current market you're trading. And here's the essential feature of your market making dashboard, the order book. You can manually buy and sell by clicking the green or red arrows. Fill in the amount and confirm. Check the auto confirm box if you don't want these confirmations. If you've created an order but just want to adjust it, fill in another order price or drag and drop the order. Click one of the cancel buttons to cancel the order. If you want more info on a particular order, click the info box. This is where you can see the current market making orders that are open, the backlog, and your history. See this as your market making administration, where you can view if the orders are going to make a profit and if old orders need a matching order. A lot of info, right? Let's start and learn while trading. That's what paper trading is for. To better understand the market making dashboard, let's first start by trading manually. Switch off automatic market making. Remember that your hopper needs both currencies to be able to buy and sell at the same time. Deposit USDT to your paper exchange. When you're trading with your real funds, make sure that you acquire the crypto you're going to market make with. Either set an order in the order book and create a manual order to buy it. Click Reset Start Balances when it has arrived. The idea is to set an order on the top of the order book and to sell it as quickly as possible with profit. Let's place a buy and sell order on top of the order book. Now wait until it gets filled, or until you have to adjust your order. Adjust the order and drag and drop it to the top. Both orders are filled. You've made your first trade as a market maker. It's now hard to see how much profit each connected buy and sell have made. That's why there's the manual market making box. Check it so your buy and sell orders are going to be connected. Let's see what that looks like. First, place your buy order. A market making order is made. Now set the corresponding sell order. I'll put it high so it doesn't get filled and we can show what it does. As you can see, the market order now shows the profit when both buy and sell are going to be filled. It's unlikely that this order is going to be filled quickly, so let's move both orders closer to the spread. Watch out that you still make enough profit, since you'll have to pay for the transaction fees. Let's make another order. It's a small profit, but more likely to be filled. Try to exercise this for the next 15 or 30 minutes. Try to put your orders as close to the spread as possible while still making a profit per trade. Use paper trading so that you can make mistakes. This is the basics of market making, and this is what we're going to automate in the next tutorial. The following tutorial will also cover how we're going to use different strategies per market trend. Happy hopping!